Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny and today I have got a $35 Prepper Pantry stock up haul from the Dollar Tree. So today I was able to run into the Dollar Tree and pick up a few things for our pantry. I want to make sure that everything is as full as possible with all this craziness going on, the election coming, it's going to get crazier and we need to be prepared. Things can definitely go sideways really fast. So making sure we've got everything we need in our pantries is super important. So I was able to do a $35 haul. I spent $35.08 was my total and let's see what we got jump right in so the first thing i grabbed was this sure fresh container i really love these for my pantry i don't really store um open food in them or anything but i do use them for organization they work so well this is a 16 cup container and it is perfect. We love to store our baking needs in here, uh, twine, the little um, baking cups, anything like that, toothpicks, stuff like that, and keep it all together in one little container. I also use these for matches. I use them for spices. We use them to organize all sorts of stuff, first aid supplies. I love that you can see through them. They're super easy to label and for $1.25, that's perfect and they stack up great on top of each other they're nice and stable and I like that the next thing I grabbed was just a extra pack of paper plates we like to make sure we've got plenty of those disposable plates for emergencies when you're trying to conserve water washing dishes really takes a ton of water so we love to have these so we have as little dishes as possible when the grid goes down or anytime we have to conserve water I also picked up a 52 pack of the plastic utensils same reason when you're conserving that water it really saves when you don't have to wash so many dishes Let's see. and then I grabbed a few packages of lentils you cannot have too many lentils in your storage they are wonderful they give you the same protein as a bean but they cook up in about 15 20 minutes so it is great about the same time as rice you can put these in with your rice and cook them at the same time for your complete protein which is wonderful so we love to keep lentils in the pantry they we replace a lot of dishes that we replace the bean and a lot of dishes with lentils because they cook up so fast and they really do give you just as much nutrition so I love that it's definitely a great item for emergency food the next thing I grabbed was just an extra pack of kidney beans you cannot have too many beans definitely beans rice all of that stuff are important so much for your long-term storage and we also grabbed a pack of black beans because we like to mix it up a little bit something different you can really change things up the way it looks the way it tastes spices are your best friend when it comes to your pantry um, they really are a huge saver the next thing I grabbed were these two and a half gallon um, Ziploc bags I love these for foraging they're great we keep them in all our emergency bags they're nice and big you can collect water in them you can put those muddy boots in them you can do so many things uh, these are just wonderful to have I keep quite a lot of those in the pantry as well so we have got the things that we need and then I also grabbed a two pound bag of rice I don't know about you guys but rice is definitely going up in our area so we like to make sure that we are keeping on top of our stash and we have plenty of it. Rice is going to last for decades when stored properly. So making sure we've got those rice, beans, lentils, all that stuff filled in the pantry as full as possible. I also picked up this little pop-up camper. I thought this would be great to organize things. You can put things in it. It's really affordable. $1.25. You can't beat that. I love the Dollar Tree because most everything is so affordable there. Um, so this little uh, hamper can be used for a ton of different things. It's mesh. You can also cut the mesh off if you need to make something else with the mesh. Um, there's just tons and tons of possibilities with these little campers 
so I thought they were good. I don't really like the solid ones, but the mesh ones are great. So if I need that mesh to make a bag or something, I could always cut it up if I needed to. The next thing I grabbed was a couple of spices because when you're cooking just from your pantry, it can definitely get bland. You do not want food fatigue. Long-term foods are not real, don't have tons of flavor. So we grabbed just a peppercorn and a crushed red pepper because we absolutely love those and we want to get those in the pantry. And you guys know me, there has to be matches in here. Uh, being able to light fires, candles, lanterns, anything like that, you got to boil water, an emergency situation, matches are going to be just one of the most important things that you have. Lighters definitely run out. Uh, having a good supply of matches is going to save you in the long run because these are not going to go bad as long as they're kept nice and dry. They will work just fine. And the next thing I grabbed was these moisture absorbers. I absolutely love these. We've been using them for years. They've got the little stuff in the top and it absorbs the moisture. You can see it fill right up in the bottom when they're in your pantry. And it has been so humid here this summer. So we've been going through a ton of these in the pantry just to make sure to keep everything nice and dry. You do not want your food storage to be getting real sticky and damp because it will rust your cans. It can cause all kinds of problems. So we love these and they're also great in the gun cabinet, anywhere you keep your ammo, things like that. These moisture absorbers are one of our favorite finds at the Dollar Tree. The next thing I grabbed were these little 100 count of little cut up parchment papers. Um, if you are buying huge packs of hamburger, which we like to do when it is on sale, we can make up burgers. Got the little liners here, simple and easy. You can cut up regular parchment paper, but this really makes it simple, so you don't have to do that. Um, you can get that hamburger stored however you like to do it, which is great and saving money every chance we get because this economy is absolutely ridiculous. The next thing I grabbed was a six pack of emergency candles. We love these for little emergency candle kits I put together. I'll try to put a link in the description down below. I did a video quite a long time ago, but super simple and easy. Everything's in a jar. You can just grab the jar. And we love these for that, and they fit right in your tapered holders if that is what you have available. So you want to make sure that you have all the stuff for what you have, um, not necessarily going out and buying something new. Uh, just using what you have and making do with that is going to be a great thing for you. You save a ton of money, and you don't have to worry about where you're going to find it. The next thing I grabbed is just a little nail kit. I like to keep these extra on hand. They are wonderful. The file can be used if you've got to file anything, not just your nails. The clippers are great for fishing line and all sorts of little things you may have to cut. Um, and there's always a set of tweezers in there, which is great. And we love to keep those. We keep uh, tweezers, a nail file, all that stuff right in each and every emergency bag so everybody's got it handy when they need it. I have not tried this before. It's by Pantry Basics and it is sweet teriyaki sauce. I thought I would give it a try. Um, it's really affordable, $1.25. Some things are a big hit at Dollar Tree and some things are a big no-no. But we're going to give it a try and see if we like it. Um, if we do, we will definitely be buying more because we love teriyaki sauce and, you know, it's great on chicken, beef, all sorts of stuff. You can put it in soups for a little different flavor. Lots of things you can do with it when you have it ready in your pantry. And we love having everything ready in the pantry. The next thing I grabbed is an extra one of these soap pumps. This one's in silver. I bought a couple in black a few months back. They work beautifully. I will try to get a little short up on these or something this weekend. Um, these work really well, easy to put together. You just put it on any old uh, regular mouth mason jar. It fits right on there. And for $1.25, that's a super deal. I have seen those pumps up to $8 some places. So you grab it where you can. 
The next thing I grabbed is two cans of the Chunk Light Tuna. They have these in stock. Tuna is going up with everything else. My goodness, groceries are getting so, so expensive. And just grab a couple extra and put them away each time when you go shopping, one or two items. It really adds up in your pantry. It will be so full before you know it. You'll be wondering where you can put more. Uh, so making sure we've just got all those things that we need. And the next thing I grabbed is we really like this Old El Paso red enchilada sauce. So I grabbed a couple cans of these just for extras in the pantry. They're great for enchilada soup, enchilada rice, enchiladas, all sorts of stuff. It really, just one can of sauce can mix up your rice and beans and make them absolutely delicious. It's not even difficult to do. Um, it's just a quick, simple, simple meal. And let's see, the next thing we grabbed was two of the red gold sloppy joe mixes. These $1.25 for Sloppy Joe Mix is definitely getting to be a good deal uh, with these prices. It's just so crazy. I am always amazed when I go in the store where you come out with three bags and it's $300 and it's ridiculous. Uh, just surviving is so difficult right now and grabbing every little deal that you can find is definitely helpful to get everyone through. And the last thing that I grabbed was two cans of the petite diced tomatoes with green chilies. We love the green chilies in there, give it a little extra flavor. And it just, you're always going to use tomatoes in some sort of recipe, unless you're allergic to tomatoes, but there are lots of options for them. So you can use them right up tons of different ways. And that is it for our pantry stock up this week. $35, not too bad. We got quite a few things. Got some long-term foods and some shorter-term stuff and other items that will be great in the pantry just so we have them in emergency situations. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!